Hello students, it's Shayna, your teacher from EspressoEnglish.net. I hope you're ready to learn a new phrasal verb today. I'm going to teach you breeze through. Don't forget to check out my online English courses if you'd like to learn more. Click on the link in this video or in the description and you can sign up for my courses about speaking, listening, vocabulary, pronunciation, business English, and much, much more. I even have a course on phrasal verbs called Phrasal Verbs in Conversation. All right, let's learn breeze through. Here are the three possible definitions and only one is correct. So as I describe the situation, think about whether A, B, or C is the correct meaning for breeze through and post your answer in the comments. So option A is to do something quickly and easily. Option B is to have a positive attitude about something. And option C is not take something seriously. Okay, so I work with a lot of students in my English courses and the interesting thing about my courses is that they are self-paced so you can decide when you want to take the lessons. And I've noticed that some students don't have much time to study and it takes them several months to finish a course. Uh, maybe they're only able to finish one lesson a week for example. And then other students just breeze through the courses. They do one or even more lessons per day and they send me um, multiple homework assignments per day. So every student is different. Some students take months to finish a course, other students breeze through the course in just a couple of weeks. Based on this example, what do you think it means to breeze through something? A, B, or C? I will tell you the right answer in just a moment. Breeze through means A, to do something quickly and easily. So in the example I gave, I contrasted students who take a little longer to finish a course with other students who breeze through. They do it quickly and easily, okay? The word breeze literally means a light wind. Okay, so uh, if, they're, if you're at the beach, you might feel a nice breeze, a nice light wind. But breeze is also used in some other expressions. For example, if you say, that was a breeze, it means that was very easy, okay? So maybe after a test that you take, which uh, you were very well prepared for, you could say, oh, that test was a breeze, meaning it was very easy. And then we have the phrasal verb, breeze through something, meaning to do something uh, quickly and easily. All right, let's see if you can use breeze through in your own English. So I'd love to see you post a comment under this video using your, uh, your own example of breeze through. Thank you for joining me today and I will see you next time in the next daily phrasal verbs lesson. Bye bye!